In segment one of this video, we showed how to extract a C2V file for updating a license for ADAPT software. In this uh, video, we're going to show what happens after we receive the update file back from ADAPT. So this is an email I received from ADAPT Licensing, and this contains some instructions on um, updating the license. Now I'm going to go back to the, the general steps for updating a license, and that was the first email that the user would receive when they are notified of an upgrade, that they're eligible for an upgrade. And that was first to extract and send ADAPT, the C2V file or the security dongle profile. We've done that. And now we have received back instructions to upgrade the security key. And in my example, I'm using a um, green uh, USB hard lock, an HL key type, which is standalone. It's not network. And we've received an additional email with instructions on um, how to upgrade that. So we're going to update our security key. It's either a soft license or a dongle. We want to uninstall the old version um, of the program and then install, download and install the new version. And these two steps here really encompass step three, download and install the new version in the general procedure. So let's go back to this email. Um, now we have a note here for network users these steps must be performed at the server. A terminal server will not update the key. You need to be physically at the server that hosts the um, license. We need to determine or verify the key type. Do you have a hard lock or a physical a key that is run you know, with this USB key type or an SL, which is a soft license? For HL licenses, we want to make sure that the USB key is plugged into the machine. So in our case, we have the green USB key plugged in. The red light is turned on, meaning the key is active um, on our machine. Uh, for SL licenses, we want to make sure that you are on the machine that hosts the license. So we want to reiterate that particular instruction. We're now going to download and save the file that was sent to us from ADAPT Licensing, and that's contained from this link. So I'll go ahead and just select the link. I'm going to download this file, and I'll save it onto my desktop. This is a compressed file, so we're going to have to extract it. Once that's done, I'll go over to uh, the Windows browser here, and we'll go to Desktop, and I'm going to find this update. This is called HASP Update 5631 underscore 3079. Now, if you've watched the video on extracting the C2V, these are the first four uh, uh, characters for the, um, the key ID for this HL key type. I'm going to go ahead and right click and extract that file on the desktop. And you can see that file is located here. Okay, so we'll pause there. I'm going to go back to our instructions. We have downloaded, saved, and unzipped the file. Now the last step in updating your key is to double click and run this file. Now in this case I've already run the file for this particular key so um, typically when you run the file by double clicking the executable the key will update. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll go back over here. I'll double click here and this is going to actually open the RUS that was installed in the first set of instructions when we collected the C2V and I'll apply the update. And you'll notice in this case, this tells me that the update was already installed. This will happen if the update was already installed and previously done on the machine that you're working on. So, so right now, I already have the update associated with this key. Um, if, if it's a legitimate update, then this would say update was written successfully. If there's an error, it will produce an error code and an error. You can send that to um, support at adaptsoft.com. Now, for network installations, you can see there's a fourth step. We want to start, or excuse me, stop and restart the Sentinel LDK License Manager. So I'll show that on this computer. I'll just go here. I'll type uh, services. We're going to use the option here for the um, services. This will show us the list of services on the machine. And if I scroll down, we'll see that the Sentinel LDK License Manager service is listed here. I just want to stop that service. 
and then I can restart the service One thing that's helpful in just confirming that the key was updated, if we go back to the list of running uh, or the list of installed programs in the Adapt Licensing Utilities folder, we can see that um, if we go to the Sentinel Admin Control Center and for the key that was updated, go over here, under Sentinel Keys, if we find the key that was updated, which is this first key listed, this is a 3079, and I go to products, this will tell me what the product list is for the current uh, installation. And we can also go to features, and this kind of shows a list of features that are on the key. So under newer key types, like SL type keys, uh, there's more information related to this. So if I go back over here to products, this will actually show me the product name versus the product code and then under features for that particular product, it would show me the list of features with the feature IDs um, that are programmed on the key. The last step is to uh, uninstall the current version of the program. Let me just close some of these windows here. I'll just minimize. So if we go to um, our list of programs that are installed, here I'm just gonna go to control panel and I will uninstall, if I go to programs, um, here programs and features, or however else you access the uninstaller. For Builder, you'll notice I already have Builder 2018 installed. Um, technically, we would want to uninstall the previous version, which is Builder 17. We would uninstall, and then we would access the download page that is sent as a third email. So this is from the general set of instructions this would be sent to you and you can see for example this is the download page for PTRC 18 so this this would be similar uh, in look and what's contained on the page as builder 2018 we would scroll down to the software download and download from the link and then install that version of the program that we're updating to as the final step once that's done you should be able to then uh, launch the program. If we go to the program for, the, for this example, we have Builder 2018. We can open the program and begin using the program. If you have any questions about licensing and updates, please contact support at adaptsoft.com.